Hi fellows and welcome to this new video about improving the quality of your lines when you draw storyboards with our plugins Iliad and Epos. Because depending on your computer, you may notice some jagged lines when you draw on your planes. There is a fair explanation to this behavior and there are several tips and tricks to avoid it. Before we start, I would just like to thank all the people who visited our booth during the Annecy Film Festival. It's been hectic for our small team, but it was awesome. Thank you all for your nice reactions and feedback, and thanks Epic Games for hosting us. Okay, let's dive into the subject and let me explain why jagged lines are happening. When you paint in the 3D environment of Unreal Engine, our painting plugin Iliad has to deal with a real-time environment which is refreshed every n times per second. So when you draw a line in Unreal Engine viewport, the refresh rate will split the line in many tiny segments. The faster the refresh rate, the smaller the segments, and so the smoother the line. A refresh rate of 60 frames per second will display smoother lines than a refresh rate of 15 fps. By the way, if you want to know your current frame rate, click in this tiny menu here at the top left corner of the viewport to show fps. This refresh is automatically calculated based on your GPU and CPU, which means the quality of the line is connected to the specs of your computer. So if, like me, you are using Unreal Engine on a toaster, you may experience this type of jagged lines. However, I've got plenty of various tips to share to enhance your experience with Praxinos plugins in Unreal Engine. You can mix all these tips together or just pick up your favorite one. There is a timecode in the description if you want to jump from tips to tips. Step 1. Change the refresh rate. As I explained, the quality of the line is connected to the refresh rate. By default, this rate is not constant, it may change depending on the resources of your computer. The frame rate drops and rises are automatically smoothed by Unreal Engine as explained in their guide. However, you can change the ease in and out of Unreal Engine refresh rate. To do so, go to Edit, Project Settings and type Frame Rate to find the option below. The option Smooth Frame Rate has a minimum value and a maximum value, and you can force a desired frame rate. You can also use Fixed Frame Rate to force Unreal Engine to keep the same frame rate. And if you enter a value your hardware can't handle, do not worry, Unreal Engine will force the higher possible limit and won't go beyond. However, this tip is more interesting if you already have a powerful computer which will allow you to increase the frame rate. In my case, running Unreal Engine on a 2018 MacBook Pro well, I'm still very limited despite the changes in project settings, and capturing the screen makes things worse, obviously. Tip 2. Lower scalability. Just like video games on PC, Unreal Engine will let you change the quality of the real-time render. To do so, go to the top right corner menu Settings, Engine Scalability Settings. There are five global modes, Low, Medium, High, Epic and Cinematic. The default mode is epic, obviously, and if you use any of the other modes, it will be displayed on the viewport. You can also use a custom configuration by selecting the mode for each parameter. Obviously, if you have a slow computer, I would advise you to use a configuration between low and medium. Tab 3. Switch off lumen. Lumen is this new extraordinary technology developed by Epic Games for Unreal Engine 5, which is able to perfectly emulate lights in an environment. However, Lumen requires more resources to run, so it might be better to disable it from your scene. To do so, go to Edit, Project Settings and search for Lumen. You should have two parameters using Lumen, Global Illumination and Reflection. Use the mode Known instead of Lumen. Tip 4. Use Unlit Mode. Lights in Unreal Engine require lots of resources, even if Lumen is disabled. If you don't have a powerful computer, you can switch off all the lights thanks to the Unlit Mode, which can be found right here. Tip 5. Enable Smoothing. 
The four previous tips were Unreal Engine related. Now we're going to see Iliad related tricks. One of them is to enable the line smoothing. To activate it, click on Tool option, activate smoothing and real time. A power of 10 should be more than enough. Step 6. Use 2D viewport. If, despite all these tricks, lines remain too jaggy for you, there is a last possible option. Using a 2D viewport. This viewport can be activated here and placed anywhere in your interface. The 2D viewport has the advantage of not being affected by the real-time rendering. There is no frame rate involved, only the power of Iliad and our graphic library Ulysses to give you a natural, smooth line. You can then easily switch from the Unreal Engine viewport to the 2D viewport if you need to make a precise drawing. Thank you all for watching this video. Obviously, there are other tricks to optimize your 3D environment and prevent memory leaks that can lower the fluidity of your lines. But I'm not the best place to answer this type of issue as they are more related to 3D in general. If you liked this video or if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. You can also join Praxinos Discord server to chat with our team and share your artwork. Thank you, take care and see you soon!